that you're responsible for that dog at all times, even in your own home. It's still an offence if your dog bites somebody in a private place such as a dwelling, and that offence can carry up to 14 years in prison. Today we're launching the Taking the Lead campaign, which is all about what we can do to reduce dog bites here on Merseyside. Um, our data has shown that in the summer months the number of dog bites rises and that rises again in the summer holidays when we've got children off school. So like 25% of our dog bite victims are children aged 16 or under and a lot of those children are bitten in, in incidences that could be prevented. But a lot of the information around keeping children safe around dogs is that you don't leave them unattended and we teach our children how to behave appropriately around dogs. Things like don't approach a dog when it's sleeping, don't take food off a dog, don't approach the dog when it's eating, you know, don't take toys off the dog, and also don't hug the dog. Dogs actually don't like being hugged. That's just something that we as humans like, but, but dogs don't actually like, and quite often children will go and hug a dog that's not comfortable with it, and the dog's response is to bite. And it's also about understanding dog body language. A lot of the time we see behaviour in dogs and, and it, it, there is a stage where it sort of it, its anxiety is increasing before eventually it feels it has to bite and that you can learn what that is on, our, on the Merseyside Police Taking the Lead campaign website. We have got links to lots of other resources by other organisations such as the Merseyside Dog Safety Partnership. They've got a brilliant quiz on there that's interactive that you can identify when you think a dog might be at risk or showing behaviours that could be risky. We've been working with the Blue Cross to introduce the Responsible Dog Ownership course, which is going to be an out-of-court disposal that we introduce for people who have been um, the owner of a dog that's been dangerously out of control or a dog that's bitten somebody. And that course is all about educating the owner so that they understand what you need to do to keep your dog safe, how to, how to train your dog. But there's also some other good links to the Dogs Trust. They've got some um, reduced cost training for people that's means tested, where you can then go and get some training and advice for your dog from a, a qualified animal behaviour expert. And then there's lots of online sort of training and advice as well. But the key messages that we want to get across to the community are you need to keep your dog on a lead uh, if it's in a public place. If you do need to let your dog off the lead, you need to make sure that it's got a good recall and that it's not dog aggressive or it's not aggressive towards people. That you're responsible for that dog at all times even in your own home it's still an offence if your dog bites somebody in a private place such as a dwelling and that offence can carry up to 14 years in prison and one of the other things that we're really keen about doing is raising awareness about some of the um, illegal and unregistered dog breeding that's taking place in Merseyside. We know that those are linked to organised crime. A lot of these people that are breeding some of the status dogs we see in Merseyside are, are not putting the animal's welfare at the front of what they're doing. So if you're going to buy a dog, then check that the breeder is registered with the local authority. You need to make sure that you see the dog with its mum when it's a puppy. And then we, we need to understand about how best to train dogs to make sure that they're safe. If you're buying a large breed dog, which we see a lot of on in Merseyside, you need to make sure that that dog is well exercised, it's well trained, it's well socialised. And if you have got a risk with the dog or you think the dog is aggressive to people or to other dogs, put a muzzle on it when it's in a, in a public place or put a muzzle on it when it's at home if you've got strangers in the home or put the better still, put the dog in another room. One of the other things that we see as well is dog bites on postal workers. Quite often they will put letters through the letterbox and then dogs will jump up and bite the letters because they're aggressive in their territory. And then they often catch the postie's fingers and they can cause some life-changing injuries to posties. So that's another really key message.